Miss Dort and Mrs. Nixon. What brings you guys in today? Well, we have some concerns because I found our son, Johnny, and he had some cuts on his arms and his legs. He's been hurting himself. Yeah, I've also kind of walked into his room, seen him bang his head against the wall, um, kind of punching random things, wondering why. Sure, I definitely can understand your concerns. That really sounds like Johnny is engaging in what's called non-suicidal self-injury, or NSSI, which is the deliberate self-inflicted damage to body tissue without the intent to die. We are getting ready to start this group with adolescents who are struggling with NSSI, um, specifically working with what's called dialectical behavior therapy, or DBT. Um, I actually have the manual right here if you guys want to discuss that. Let's talk about it. Sure. That sounds great. So we heard you were interested in DBT. Today some colleagues and I are going to go over basically the basis of DBT as well as a skills module adapted for adolescents needing DBT skills training. So what is DBT? DBT is a therapy developed by Marsha Linehan which focuses on emotional dysregulation. Through dialectics, the way to think about dialectics is you have two things that seem like they're the opposites, so you compare them and come to a middle ground. That's essentially what DBT is wanting to do with emotionally dysregulating thoughts and feelings. So what does the research tell us about why DBT is useful for treating NSSI behaviors? So first, we know that targeting shame, guilt, and sadness can aid effective NSSI reduction. DBTA is an effective adaptation of DBT to reduce problematic behaviors in adolescents. DBTA showed significant effects in reducing NSSI in a large sample of adolescents in a very recent meta-analysis. Parent involvement in DBT skills training also helps reduce adolescent self-harm and it improves the caregiver quality of life and their own mental health. All right, so now that you know a little bit about DBT, let's talk about a treatment manual that we want to use. So, for this treatment module, it's called DBTA. There are about five active skills modules of that, along with the orientation module. So the five active skills modules are mindfulness, distress tolerance, walking the middle path, emotion regulation, and interpersonal effectiveness. It should be known that completing this treatment typically takes about 20 sessions. That number can change depending on the needs of the client at that time. It should also be known that the workbook includes age-appropriate skill lessons, worksheets, and exercises. So this is an overview of the mindfulness module of DBTA. The mindfulness not module is about teaching skills to increase non-judgmental awareness of their present experience and to improve attentional control. By becoming aware of emotional states and urges, a capacity to mindfully select a skillful response rather than act impulsively is developed. It will always include an orientation session and a mindfulness exercise at the beginning of each module, even after the mindfulness module is over. It typically includes two sessions and it focuses on the core skill. The core skills of this are the wise mind, which are the states of mind, the what skills, which are observing, describing, and participating, and the how to do skills, which are don't judge, stay focused, and do what works. Next is the distress tolerance skills. Here's the module overview. Distress tolerance module focuses on helping clients build skills to tolerate difficult situations and emotional pain in the moment. There are four sessions total. Sessions one through three cover the crisis survival skills. These skills emphasize changing one's experience of the distress by distracting, self-soothing, improving the moment, considering the pros and cons of impulsive versus effective action, and tipping one's body chemistry to rapidly reduce extreme arousal. In the last session, session four covers the reality acceptance skills. These skills help an individual learn how to fully accept painful circumstances that cannot be changed rather than avoiding or fighting them. Through radical acceptance and a willingness to embrace reality, one can reduce their emotional suffering and move forward in a more centered and effective manner. Next, we're going to talk about walking the middle path and the skills taught within this module. An overview of the module includes that it is designed to address polarized, non-dialectical thinking, and behavioral patterns through child and caregiver interactions. There will also be discussions that will work to foster validation for both the teens and their parents and offer potential compromises for the dialectical dilemmas they are experiencing. The core skills of this module include dialectical thinking, mindfulness training, 
dialectical dilemma resolution, and positive behavioral change. It should also be noted that this module is carried out through a four-session family group format. Next is the emotion regulation model. Here's an overview. Emotion regulation skills help increase positive emotions and reduce negative emotions. This includes four sessions typically, and the core skills here that are taught are understanding their emotions, where they can observe and describe them, and learning what emotions do for them. Also, reducing emotional vulnerability through the ABC and PLEASE skills. Also working to change unwanted emotions by checking the facts, problem solving, and engaging in opposite actions all the way. And finally, learning to reduce emotional suffering using the WAVE skills. Last is the Interpersonal Effectiveness module. Here's the overview. Interpersonal Effectiveness focuses on skill building and maintaining positive relationships. It highlights obtaining three important interpersonal goals. One, building positive relationships and reducing conflict escalation through the give skills. Two, effectively asking for what one wants or saying no to another request using the dear man skills. And lastly, maintaining self-respect through the fast skills. This module contains four sessions total. And don't you forget, each session always contains that brief mindfulness exercise and a brief orientation. Thanks for watching. So now that we've gone over DBTA, how does that sound? Does that sound useful and reasonable for Johnny's NSSI? What do you think, sweetie? I think that sounds good. I really think Johnny can benefit from some of this stuff. How about you? Yeah, and I'm really excited to learn the skills with him. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and get him signed up. Great. Oh yeah, team. Oh, we're so